as I say though, I'm, I'm just doing my thing now. And when I do, when I do come back to YouTube, it's going to be a completely different ball game. It's going to be a different, different genre, different content. Well, the same content. It's going to be travel, travel related content. I'll be doing food reviews. I'll be doing hotel reviews. I'll be doing fucking Airbnb reviews. I'll be doing everything I possibly can here around Sydney and trying to build up a channel that's not reliant on overseas travel. Because, you know, especially when you're on my income bracket, you, you can't be operating a channel that's, that's reliant on fucking overseas content. Because, you know, it's completely uncertain at this point in time if and when I might be travelling again. So I would much rather start up a channel, you know, promoting shit around Sydney, where, where I can be uh, capturing content every fucking day of the week if I'm really that keen. And then, you know, you using the profits from the back home content to, to fund my travel, which means if I'm going to be typecast as a Sydney vlogger, I don't, if I can make a success of that, I probably won't really stream or produce content while I'm on break. I'll, I'll just use it for a period to be on break before returning home to, to create more content. But the next channel will boom. I will be advertising it fucking heavily. I'm going to bring in just masses, masses of fucking subs and not purchased all through ads and everything else it, it'll all be on the level I'm not buying them from fucking India or fucking Twitter or shit like that I'll be doing it fucking legit but I will be fucking paying for advertising and fucking boosting it up just fucking going big with it 